Minister of Tourism, Culture and the Arts Randall Mitchell said the aim is to build an improved carnival while remaining true to its roots. Earlier this year as carnival was cancelled, um, we saw different creative expressions coming out. We saw carnival products being produced in the area of theatre. We saw the mass production. We saw carnival productions being produced in the area of film. And we intend to build upon those things and to encourage those different carnival products being produced. And while a new and improved carnival product is being proposed, he also indicated that his ministry will be looking at creating more festivals. We see festivals as something that can create and contribute tremendous economic value to our economy. And Trinidad and Tobago, as we know and as we are, we are a melting pot of creeds and races, a melting pot of cultures that feeds into a number of different national festivals. Minister Mitchell said this country has prepared for the reopening of the tourism sector by developing comprehensive public health protocols. Today I can report that both destinations, Destination Trinidad and Tobago, were awarded the Travel and Tourism Council safety stamp which is an international recognition of the development and significant rollout of our comprehensive protocols. And to date, over 1,000 tourism operators have been trained, or tour operators, or transportation operators and personnel. And with those in the entertainment sector not able to earn as they did before, he said assistance in relief grants were dispersed to those in the creative sector, totaling $25 million. Mahalia Joseph Wharton, TTT News.